This week in Jacksonville, it's the Georgia Florida game, or as it's been called through the years, the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. We're not supposed to use that term, but I'm not going to obey the desire to not call it that. This year, they want us to call it the River Your City Showdown or something like that. Nope, that's not going to happen. It's the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Most people are not giving Georgia a chance this year, but believe it or not, I do. Now let me say that there is a chance Florida could blow the doors off Georgia. I do not think Georgia is very good, and I do not think Georgia has a lot of talent. But I do think it is possible Georgia could play its best game of the year and beat a Florida team that really hasn't beaten a good team yet. Florida has beaten UMass, Kentucky, North Texas, Vanderbilt, Missouri. Now I know that Georgia lost to Vanderbilt and almost lost to Missouri, but I'm talking about Florida. The Gators do not have a great running game. They've got a committee of four running backs, but not a star. They have a quarterback, Luke Del Rio, who can be shaky at times and can make mistakes. So a Florida team that usually scores a lot of points is a question on offense this season. Can Georgia's defense finally step up and have a solid game? Now, there's no question the Florida defense can be very good, but they are dealing with several significant injuries that could impact the game on Saturday. Here's what Georgia needs to do. The Bulldogs need to come out throwing the ball. Yes. Even against a very good Florida secondary, Georgia should throw the ball, but they should allow Jacob Easton to throw the ball to freshman tight end Isaac Nada. Easton does not have a good group of receivers, but let's see if Florida can stop Nada. Let's see if that would open up the running game a bit and maybe give running back Nick Chubb and also Sony Michelle an opportunity to do some damage. If not, it's going to be a low scoring game and that's scary for Georgia. The Bulldogs can win this game if they finally, in game eight, play a solid fundamental game. It's hard to believe that hasn't happened yet, but if Georgia can avoid stupid penalties and not make mistakes on special teams, Georgia will have a chance. A win over Florida could wipe away some of the stink of this season. New head coach Kirby Smart is well aware of how important this game is. The previous coach beat Florida only five times in 15 games, and that's a trend that must change. Why not start this weekend?